Major gun control legislation was certainly at the forefront of the last legislative session, and this year it is still a very hot topic here at the state capitol. Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver, and with me now is Senator Randy Bumgardner. Welcome. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today. You know, I know this is an issue that certainly you were involved with last year, but tell me what you're doing. What is the carryover, Randy, if you will, from last year's session that you're going to be working on this year? Well, as you, as you know, there was, a, again, a lot of gun legislation that came through last year that was passed that did cause a lot of controversy, and I had a uh, number of constituents as well as a lot of people throughout the state of Colorado that were really concerned about the 15-round magazine ban and I was asked to carry legislation to repeal that, and uh, myself and Senator Bernie Herpin are carrying that together to repeal that standard size magazine ban. Right. You're also working on some transfer rights, if you will, when it comes to guns. Um, tell me what that is and, and how this is maybe a little bit of cleanup from legislation last year. Okay, uh, last year there was legislation on transferring weapons from relation, one relation to another and you could transfer it to your father, or your mother, your daughter, your son, but in that legislation, a piece of that was left out were stepchildren or step relations. So I've got a bill this year that puts that terminology into statute to where you can uh, give your firearms to your step relation. Yeah, and you're also working on some legislation, Senator, regarding uh, the military. Tell me what you're doing, trying to give them a little break, if you will. <laughs> yes, uh, I have a bill this year that uh, speaks to people that are serving abroad, that when they're deployed overseas and they have a vehicle that is parked for possibly a year, when they have to get their registration, they have to pay all the sales tax. And what this does is the vehicle has to be parked and they pay $1 in sales tax. Now, if they pay that entire uh, license fee and they're deployed say two months after they pay that then they get that on the next year that they'll get a credit on the next year so it's just a way to show our troops that we really appreciate what they're doing yeah. for us abroad are there issues coming up this session you know we certainly see things go through each year that are more hot button than others but are there issues that you have concerns about with this session, Senator? Well, you know, we, uh, no, you know, we're, we're like families. You know, all families don't always get along. And uh, we, we, we tend to want people to think we get along all the time, but there are, there are uh, issues that have already arisen this year that I'm not sure that, you know, it's gonna be uh, one big happy family as, as, you know, people would want everybody to uh, think that we are. Be on the same page, yes. yeah. And in terms of uh, the particular um, budget issues that you have, I know that there's more revenue now to be spread around, which is a good thing after some very lean years. What are you focusing on with uh, the budget that you think is important? Well, I, I serve on the CDC, the Capital Development Committee, and one of the things that I want uh, to look into this year is that a lot of the capital maintenance projects, uh, level one and level two, and I, that is, projects that are imperative, they, they be fixed, that those be funded mm -hmm. before we start new construction. Right. I know that there will be money for new construction, but I would like to have those maintenance projects funded first. Right, take care of the, the cleanup the from years past, right? Yes. things that are broken, fix them. Okay, Senator Randy Baumgartner, thanks so much for being with us. Well, thank you. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver.